to another one of my videos. Thank you so much again for joining me. In this video, uh, I actually had a comment earlier about what do you do with your hands? They look so youthful and this and that. And instead of just making a really quick um, reply back, which I did, I mean, I did do a little reply back, uh, I thought I would put together my um, springtime hand care routine. Now, I did have a winter hand care routine, but I didn't have um, a springtime uh, hand care routine put up. So I'll put the winter one below. I'll link it down below so you guys can see it. But I definitely want to go ahead and talk to you guys about the spring uh, the spring collection, the spring stuff that I use uh, as the you know weather is warming up and of course the sun is out and all of that. Some of the things you should do and shouldn't do and you know how to really take care of your hands. So these are my hands. They have no makeup on. They have nothing. No, no nothing. No filter. I don't know. I don't know how to do filters or anything on my camera, so that's not going to happen today. Um, so these are it. Uh, I'll try to get in maybe, let me see if I can go ahead and, uh, no I can't, but that, that's my hands. There you go. I can't focus in to save my life, but there you go. That's my hands. So, um, I've, I've done a couple of things and let me go ahead in no particular order. I'm going to talk a couple of things on what I use and what I take or anything like that. First thing I do is I've been, uh, doing this for a long time. The two oils that I take as a supplement supplement is I make sure that I have enough vitamin E internally and I and I make sure that I have enough omega fatty acids internally. So I do take a fish oil and I do take some extra vitamin E uh, here and there. Now most of the time I just take a one a day you know type of vitamin but um, I will throw that in. I will do a vitamin E capsule every now and then uh, especially, you know, I do do it in the winter, but also in the spring and summer months. And I do do the omega fatty acids, so fish oil. Um, you know, you can get krill oil if you want. There's one, uh, I forget who makes it, that's a really good krill oil. But uh, really a, a good omega, you know, oil. Uh, I just I love it for the skin. There's nothing healthier. It just keeps your skin supple and soft and uh, firm. I can't talk about it enough. I mean, that's that's the internal stuff. Um, the other thing that I want to quickly make mention is I do take a collagen supplement. And this is, you know, full disclosure. I just want to let you guys know everything that I do. Let me get, let me scoot back here a little bit. There you go. Um, and I, and I do that because, again, it's really good for your skin, your elasticity in your skin. Um, it's good for, for the suppleness in my, you see, my, my skin bounces right back. Look at that. Poof poof. I don't know if you can see this. I mean, there's no crinkling. There's no, like, if, if you don't have enough collagen or you don't have enough hydration, your skin kind of like stays there. I don't know if you can see that. Just stay, there's nothing. I'm pinching it and it goes right back. <clears throat> Very important to keep collagen in your system and uh, have your cells renew and your cells hydrate and all of that. Uh, so those are kind of like the supplements that I take. Now I'm going to show you some of the stuff I use on my hands, okay? Um, again, no particular order. One of the hand creams that I really like is called Seed. Uh, it's grapeseed enriched healthy hand cream. Antioxidant rich, fast absorbing, naturally plant-based. You can get these at most of the um, health food stores. I think, I believe Whole Foods still carries this. Um... I don't know about GNC, but some of the some of the natural food stores carry this uh, lotion. So this is a very good lotion to keep on hand. It's lightweight. It's paraben free, soy free. I'm reading the back here. Uh, no artificial colors. Gluten free, phthalate free. Uh, you just massage a small amount on your uh, hand, and uh, I can show you this. It's kind of very lightweight. Uh, there you go. Very very. Um, light it just kind of runs down my hand my yeah you know, fingers and then I'm gonna apply it in it's highly high content of moisture on it I'm just rubbing it in uh, this is one of the creams that goes in immediately you just can you can feel it absorbing into your hand I have a little scratch there I think one of the one of the cats got to me uh, we have my um, father-in-law's cat 
here along with my own cat. So I think one of our pets, somebody, somewhere, did a little nick on me. So there you go. It's in already. It's totally absorbed. There you are. It just, uh, it's a lovely, lovely lotion. And it smells wonderful. It has that lavender scent to it, which is a very calming scent. And I use this a lot at night. Honestly, it's on my bedside vanity. Uh, and I use it at night because the lavender is known to, you know, be a, a relaxant and it just kind of calms and soothes your sense, sensory, sensory smells um, and just, just lulls me into a wonderful kind of, you know, sleepy mode. So I love this one. Now, uh, for my cuticles, and you can use any cuticle oil. I, I have a number of them. I have one that has like little petals in it and you can buy a really good cuticle oil basically anywhere you know you don't have to have this this is I just happened to have this at uh, TJ Maxx it was $4.99 see it there and it's a Provence Beauty natural vegan cuticle oil 100% natural ingredients and it has a whole slew of oils in it it's got sapphire a sapphire listen to me sapphire sap flower oil I can't say that quick um, sweet almond oil olive oil fruit uh, olive olive fruit oil our Ar, Arginia spinosa argan oil um, grapeseed oil geranium plant oil rosemary leaf oil lavender um, as a scent oil essential oil uh, Lang Lang flower oil that is a very very good antioxidant oil um, it's just wonderful on any part of your body just FYI um, so a number of these oils in there and um, all you do is you apply a small amount to cuticle daily massaging in circular motion so uh, so uh, as you can see my hands are these are gel these are my own nails okay that I've done recently and one of the things that I put on again nightly and I'll show you how that looks like there it's just a really nice very lightweight oil and a very little goes a long way guys I just basically put like a tiny little drop droplet on my fingers around my cuticle finger area and then just massage it in uh, just kind of like play with it kind of do one of these and uh, make sure you get you know just the cuticle area and just do a very nice almost fingertip type of massage in and again a little goes a long way um, it just has an oily smell to it maybe a little bit of a floral smell because of all the flowers but I do my little uh, nighttime routine this is just at night that I do it uh, and just massage it in and again just a wonderful night ritual um, mm, yummy uh, routine now this thing will last you forever I mean you see how little I put in there there's two fluid ounces in there this sucker will last you forever so there is that now I have two scrubs one scrub I've been I always keep in my shower this is, uh, and I use this both for uh, face and for the back of my hands. You can use it for your elbows as well. This is the Queen Helen uh, Oatmeal and Honey Scrub. It's available at any drugstore. Uh, I think I picked it up at, you know, Walgreens or CVS or anything. It's a big, 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 big six ounces. Um, just really good, normal to dry skin. I'm going to try, hopefully it's not wet because of my shower. But it kind of see if I can tilt it over there kind of looks like that I'm trying to not get it on my keyboard I have this paranoia now ever since I put some night lotion on my keyboard here so that's that it's pretty thick and it smells wonderful it it just has this honey honey cocoa type of smell to it it's really very rich and then what I do is when when I'm in the shower and I'm you know wet um, I'll just go ahead and I have a paper towel here so I can wipe it off I just put a little bit on the back of my hand like that and I just scrub away it's got a really good scrub to it it's a it's not a heavy oil and it just goes right in there I just give it a good little scrub and uh, and then just rinse it off and you can see the little 
I, I think you can see the little sugar sugar or almond no these are almond husks almond seed husks on it there you go and it's got some honey on it I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that off and it just smells really great in the shower um, keeps your hand nice and smooth uh, I can already see just from doing that I don't know if you can tell guys that's my two hands here how how just um, it's not scrub what is that I'm looking for just buffed, buffed, how buffed that that is. My hand is just completely like buffed because of it. Just takes off that nice dead skin that you don't need anymore, uh, helps it heal. And especially in the, uh, in the springtime, I really like to get that and exfoliate it really well. And then, you know, then you're ready to put on your sunscreen and sunscreen protection on the back of your hand when you go out before you go out and that's going to be my next topic so let me let me go ahead and put the top back on and then show you guys okay I did that oh this is just a quick mention I bought this um, like the other day and this is another one that you can in a pinch you can use that on the back of your hands it's meant for your lips and uh, your face but you can use it in the back of your hands and this is um, the L'Oreal Paris Pure Sugar Scrub Nourish and Soften. So that's that one goes in here together. Um, so, you know, I've tried that also. But honestly, what I use, when I use the scrub most often is in my shower. So that's why I keep uh, the honey one over there. Okay, so uh, for moisturizer, the uh, camera went down on me. Uh, I was about to say, for moisturizer, you can really use any over-the-counter you know, it doesn't have to be a hand moisturizer. I mean, I have this for a hand moisturizer, but if you want to go a little bit um, more indulgent, you can really use any one of your body uh, lotions or your face, you know, moisturizers on the back of your hand. It translates very well. Uh, this one is the Coconut Oil Spa Naturals Moisturizing Cream with Vitamin E. Uh, for dry and sensitive skin. It's good for elbows, knees, feet, body, hands. It's good for everything. So I just keep a tub on my, again, on my nightstand. It's a huge six ounce tub and it's a really nice, mm, smells very coconutty, very nice, uh, you know, lotion. There you go. You can look at it. It's, it doesn't really budge, you know, that much. Yeah, there you go. And uh, just, again, a really nice, lightweight cream to keep on hand, especially when you, um, you know, when you're in the sun and sun and surf and wind and, and uh, beaches and, you know, all the summertime stuff, chlorine and chlorinated water, uh, all the things that your hands go through in the summer and uh, spring months, you really do need to hydrate it and put some good creams on it after you come in from the indoors and get it into tip-top condition. Okay, and then the last thing, of course, well, it's not the last thing, but this is the last thing I'm going to mention, is sunscreen. Sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. I don't know how many times I have to tell you this. If it goes on your face, it goes on your hands. When you apply your sunscreen on your face uh, for the morning, and this isn't even if you're going to the beach or anything. This is just daily, you know, for spring and summer. Always, always, always take the extra time to put it on the back of your hands. Never go out uh, without putting sunscreen on the back of your hands or, or all around. You know, it doesn't really have to be on your palm, but, you know, all your fingers, all your hands, all, yeah, I, I usually put it up to at least here uh, for sunscreen. You just can't get enough of it, okay? And especially if you are... Uh, prone to you know uh, going out and working with your hands or doing anything like that the last thing you need is to start developing sunspots and aging spots there's nothing uh, that ages our hands and gives away our age uh, quicker than having you know wrinkly hands from sun damage sunspots from sun from sun damage uh, you see these elderly people that have you know discoloration purple discoloration and and god forbid you know uh cancerous moles or cancerous uh, things start to pop up on their arms and their hands and it's because we kind of neglect the whole you know arm back of hands body parts we go out there we might slap some on 
uh, sunscreen on for our face, but we kind of forget that, oh, we're walking around in the sun, walking our dogs, walking our pets, whatever, um, walking our children, biking, you know, whatever it is that we're doing, we're doing a lot of manipulation with our hands and we're not putting any sunscreen on our hands. So when you're even driving in the car, you know, uh, through the window, sun comes in. Uh, that's why people get, you know, uh, I have a tendency, this is me, I have a tendency to put my arm on the windowsill as I'm driving away, you know, blah, blah, blah. Here I go listening to the radio and this hand gets sunburned, it, it, not sunburned, but suntanned. I, I get a, I usually get a, um, a white mark around my watch band because uh, the sun has been beating down on it as I'm driving. So I get a tan line literally on my, my hand. And I have to remember, oh, you know, this hand is perpetually in the sun as I'm driving while this hand is on the steering wheel, so it's not getting as much sun. But I gotta remember, you know, in the summer months, oh, I have to put some uh, lotion or sun lotion on my hand before I get in the car and start you know driving any long distances because it is gonna it is gonna start adding up uh, so that's what I wanted to tell you guys I think I've run down all of the things that I wanted to show you so just uh, you don't have to necessarily get these products I'm not advocating I'm not sponsored about from anybody uh, so there's no particular you know cuticle oil or particular scrub or particular uh, sunscreen that you need to get but you do need to get these steps in your um, daily care routine for your hands if you want to keep your hands young if you want to keep your hands youthful uh, you need to do these in addition to the supplements that I mentioned okay thank you again for joining me please give this uh, video a thumbs up I've been trying to get uh, videos out now that um, I've come back from Florida and we might have to go down again so I don't know we're kind of in flux with everything but um, if I do go down there I'll let you guys know and um, you know maybe try to vlog down there as well but right now we are running around and you know a lot of things are up in the air it's day-to-day -day, uh, decisions as far as we're concerned so uh, I wanted to make mention of that um, and uh, Let's see what else, what else. I think that's about it. Just make sure you hit that notification bell and uh, be notified and subscribe to the channel because um, if I put up anything and you're not on that little bell notification, you're not going to be dinged that I've got some new, you know, videos up there that you might want to look at. Uh, and um, just have a great day. Make it a great day out there. Go out there and do something good for somebody. You know, go run around. It's beautiful outside. I'm getting ready to walk the dogs right now. As soon as I get off this video, I'm going to take a break and go ahead and walk my dogs with, uh, with my husband out there and take a little break. It's Sunday. And then after that, I'm going to go and cook. Yay! So uh, looking forward to that too. I love you all. Thank you again for all your comments and all your prayers um, in this uh, trying time for us in our family. Um, we had uh, my mother-in-law passed away uh, very suddenly. So uh, yeah, we've been dealing with that. My own mother passed away 18 years ago. And uh, my mother-in-law, uh, she really took over the role of being my second mother. She was a uh, confident of mine. She, she listened to everything. She uh, did not necessarily side with my husband over me. She would, you know, side with whoever. Uh, she always saw things the right way, and I will truly, truly miss her in my life. But I, I hope and pray that she's in a better place uh, than she was recently in the last couple of weeks. She wasn't doing well at all. So um, I just pray to God that she's in a really good, peaceful place, and we love her. We will always love her and continue to love her, and wherever she is, I know that she knows that. So I love you guys. Keep well, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Bye.